Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hey, I'm Ron with the Ideal Industries. In this video, I'd like to talk about one of my favorite electrical testers at Ideal, and that's Ideal's line of tight sight clamp-on meters. And uh, we're actually going to look at the 61-763. So if you want to go check out the Ideal website, uh, go ahead. And um, if you're an industrial or commercial contractor, you're going to find out that this is a great little tester for you. And it's going to do really probably everything you need it to do. And one of the unique features of the tight sights is uh, the fact that they actually have two displays on them. And you're not going to find those on any other tester out there. So there actually is a display in the front of the tester, but there's actually one in what we call the heel or boot of the tester too. And you're going to find it's a great advantage because a lot of times commercial work, you're clamping a meter around a conductor up at a cable tray, or you're down on your hands and knees wrapping yourself around a blower motor to get to a conductor to actually take an amperage reading. And you just can't see the face of the tester. And so most testers have hold features that they will retain the last thing they see as you disconnect them from a wire. But a lot of times you look at that reading has been held and you go, gosh, you know, that don't sound right. And you'll take another reading, hold it again and pull it off. And you'll go, yeah, that don't sound right neither. I'd like to actually watch that load come on and off. And um, by having a second display in the heel or boot here, I can many times actually watch that load still come on and off as it happens through the meter. And it's just a great advantage. So let's move over to shop and I'll show you a little bit more about the tight sight. As you get a close up view of the ideal tight sight tester, you'll see it's a conventional clamp meter, meaning it can be clamped around a conductor to make those amperage readings for you. And it, as we said, has a second display in the heel or boot of the tester, which will give you the same reading as you get on the main display. And that's just a very convenient thing to have. And then, uh, actually, it's a kind of a safety thing, too, because for whatever reason, if this display is not working or damaged, you do have a second display you can reference. Now, a key feature of the tester I want to point out is right there, it says it's a Category 4 rated tester up to 600 volts and Cat 3 up to 1,000. And these category ratings are basically safety ratings. And they tell us where it's safe to use the tester. And CAT4 is the highest rating. That means you can use it outside of the building at the service entrance, but you can also use it inside the building. CAT3 says you can use it in the electrical distribution panels and into the branch circuits and the outlets of the building and anywhere you could use a CAT1 or a category 2 type tester. Now, the tester is also a true RMS tester. And you'll find most electrical contractors require or need to buy true RMS testers to measure those voltage and those current waveforms properly. Now on the clamp itself here, it says that it is rated up to 660 amps as well. On the side of the tester, you'll see that it has a little button that sets for hold or peak, and then we can retain the last thing the tester saw when you disconnected it or the peak of what it might have seen. You see the tester also has a min and max button on it, which is a really nice feature, and it will record the minimum or the maximum over a period of time of what it might have been reading. And uh, you can do it for longer periods of time uh, because the tester has an auto power off feature. It automatically powers itself off in 30 minutes, but you could disable that. And for a longer period of time, you can record those minimums and maximum, which is another nice feature you don't find on a lot of clamp meters. Now, the tester has a little light button here which will light the backlight on the display if you're in a dark environment. And it also lights up the backlight on the display in the heel or boot of the tester. And I can turn that back off. And you'll see that we are actually in the volt AC setting here. And if I want to put some test leads in the tester, I can measure some voltage AC. And um, I'm going to take a, an old extension cord here and plug my test leads into it and take some readings here. And you'll see the tester, first of all, is giving me an audible indication here. And a little light is flashing at me, indicating it's on see some voltage. And it can get that audible indication at 30 volts up with AC or DC. And, of course, it gives me a reading itself here. And we're reading a little over 123 volts. Now, you might have noticed right next to the voltage uh, symbol, there it says hertz here. I can toggle to the frequency setting by pushing this button over here. And now it's actually giving me the frequency of that AC waveform which you would expect it to be reading 60 hertz, which it actually is. And if I push that button one more time, it goes back into reading just the voltage. Now, uh, another key feature of the tester is the relative button over here. And we can use that to compare two values. So say I want to compare this voltage to another voltage in a building. I can actually hit the, the relative button. And what it does, it stored that reading. And if I disconnected uh, the test leads from the uh, 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 extension cord over here, it saved that reading. Now, if I plug these test leads into another extension cord over here on the other side of this countertop, uh, it's actually going to give me another reading, but it's only going to give me the differences in the two readings. And we're reading about 2.9 volts difference between those two outlets. Okay, And so that's another nice feature of the tester we can use in many applications throughout a building. Okay, Now, the tester obviously does volts DC as well. 
And the little omega symbol indicates we'll do resistance. We want to measure the resistance in a circuit. Right next to it, that symbol is for capacitance. So the tester would measure capacitance if we needed it to as well, uh, for like a start capacitor. The uh, little audible symbol indicates the uh, continuity setting of the tester. So if I take my two test leads and touch them together, the tester gives me an audible tone and it basically zeroes out the meter and uh, lets me know I have continuity across the circuit or a fuse or whatever it might be. And it also tells me the tester's safe and it's working and it's ready to be used too. Now, we can also obviously measure frequency or, or amperage, I should say. And uh, if we go to amps AC, I can measure the amperage of something. And what I've got over here is I've got some lights plugged into a little line splitter. And I can click, cl clamp around this line sp uh, splitter and take a reading here. And the tester's pulling up, uh, those lights are pulling just right at about 5 amps, 4.9 amps. And again, I get that same reading on the bottom of the tester. Now, if I push the uh, button right there, it can actually then look at the frequency of that current waveform as well. So um, uh, you'll find it's a very convenient thing to have. So measure amps, no problem. And I think you'll find that the 61763 here is just a great tester. These little tight sites I think you're going to find are going to be one of your favorite testers. So, hey, thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. I'm Ron with Ideal, and I'll plan on seeing you on the next one.